Hi, I'm here to trade in my A35 for a CLA45. CLA 45S uh, comes with 420 horsepower, uh, a 40 horsepower upgrade from the previous uh, previous gen model. So I do not know what is the regular CLA's outputs, but sorry, the regular CLA 45 no S punya output, but of course should be lower. Um, and right now, right, this is your only the only variant. Of the CL of this current generation CLA on sale in Malaysia, there's no CLA 200, there's no CLA 250. It's just this, the CLA 45S Formatic Plus, and it's uh, curiously, it's cheaper than the uh, the A45, the A45S uh, overall more. It, this car also had actually and despite this car coming with more features it has a 360 degree camera which this, the A45 does not have it has this Tronic okay which is um, which is uh, basically radar guided cruise control which the A45S does not have the only thing that the A45 has that this does not is that the A45 is an edition one car whereas this is just a regular CLA45 uh, right now I'm driving the car in comfort mode and surprisingly I think this is more comfortable than the A35 the, the absorption the, the suspension pliancy over these poor surfaces is it's actually better than the A35 right so so actually there's really no point buying the A35 because because you see this is I mean if you look at the I mean assuming the A45 drives similar to this right the A35 is less powerful is less is now as I discover this less comfortable comes with less barang and people look at you and people will see somebody who can't afford an A45 so actually there's no point buying the A35 anymore which, which is a, to me a, a, a shocking revelation um, it's it, it, this feels just as friendly to use okay so now I'm making this U-turn I'm going to drive through some really bad patch. So let's see how this behaves. Still driving the car in comfort mode. Oh, it's 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 fantastic. It's 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 comfortable. I have never used the word comfortable to describe any Mercedes from the MFA family previous gen uh, A class and CLA all totally tak boleh pakai one in terms of their comfort levels but this one I'm surprised it is actually very good and more surprising it's better than the A35 which I thought was already acceptable uh, in isolation This is this is probably nice, and and the, the the what you call that the the compromise. You see, previous gen the previous gen A forty five and and and, and CLA forty five. I've always uh, hesit hesitated to to recommend with uh, with to recommend unreservedly because. They are fantastic cars, but they are also not easy cars to live with. But this, 
this changes that equation totally. It changes that equation totally. Now let me just flick it to sport mode and Whoa! it's not just the way it pulls, but the the, the oral drama which the engine serves as you pull it. It's is supposed to be a more hardcore vehicle than the A35 that, that I drove before it okay but it is it, instead what I'm what I'm sensing here what I'm seeing here is that this is this is turned out to be a completely better all-rounder which means that other than then the fact that you cannot afford to step up from the A35 to, to this or the A45, there is no reason, no valid reason for you to not want this. This is just so good. And there really is no compromise anymore. Alright, all the what we what the all the previous reservations that I had of of the previous gen Mercedes MFA cars, you know, particularly with regards to the right comfort, are all blown away with this one. What do you want to do? Cancel. And you know, when you buy cars like this, right, you want the car to give you a sense of occasion when you drive it, you know, and ideally that sense of occasion does not require you to continuously wring the bejesus out of the engine every in order to enjoy it this is really a and the, the sensations that this car gives you is you can enjoy this car any day anytime anywhere You know what's the funny thing? It does not feel as 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 raw as as brutal as the previous gen A45 or CLA45 that is supposedly less powerful. This one feels a bit more refined around the edges. It is a faster car no doubt, but it delivers its performance in a more measured fashion in a more um accessible fashion so you may not so when you when you drive this when you accelerate you may not immediately feel that this is faster than the previous car even though we know it is but still they have kept that 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 you know that drama that sense of occasion that you know every time when you floor this you know it tingles your senses and this is in a package you know in a, in the overall setup that is far easier to live with than the previous car so you can say you know you to borrow a cliche term the CLA 45 has um, it has grown up it has matured into a better all-rounder so if you were to drive the previous uh, CLA 45 uh, that you may you may actually find that car to be more entertaining not to say this is not entertaining yeah but this one they have trimmed off the the, the some of the the, the brutal the more brutal edges of that car but what it does is that it, it it completely takes the 35 model out of the equation now you see the, the fun thing is the 35 the, A, A, the AMG A35 would have made a lot of sense 
if it was introduced in the previous generation because previously the previous a a45 uh, you know the pre the previous a40 the 45 families right those were really hard hitting cars they were really um they were they had that brutal feeling about them you know it's like you know it, it, it has that 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 uh that that rough edge about them that you know that hairy chest uh uh, what you call it, that hairy chest persona about them that makes an, an intermediate such as the A35 an appealing prospect but now I drive this and when I drove the A35 in isolation it was great it was good all right um, but now I come to this not only do I find myself upgraded in terms of performance but there is virtually zero, zero sacrifice in comfort and day-to-day -day usability. So the thing is, if I can afford a CLA45 or an A45, there is zero, no argument whatsoever, nothing. There is no counterpoint that tells me that, you know, if I were to go for an A35, I get something else as a trade-off nothing so in fact I, I've come I might even I've even come to the conclusion that the A35 <laughs> it's it's really there to convince you to buy the A45 instead so you see right now I'm going through over really thick rumble strips curse the idiot who, who, who ordered those rumble strips but you know it, it's it's it was a far from uncomfortable experience and the thing is with the previous generation 45s right you always had this feeling that you need to drive them uh, hard over the edge but this one this one feels perfectly competent you know now pottering around at pedestrian speeds I actually like this. Uh, I, I know this is. I, I've always had, you know, harbored a skepticism, a, a, a healthy degree of skepticism towards the Mercedes MFA uh, family of cars. But, but this one, this one positively changes, changes my thinking altogether. It's, it actually, you know, it's. This is actually. It, it feels like a very. It's a. It's actually a rather accomplished car. This is a rather accomplished car. So this is the CLA 45. Uh, it is at present the only variant of the current generation CLA uh, that Mercedes is offering in our market. And uh, yeah, so as Mercedes calls the CLA 45 a coupe, right? This is supposed to be part of their coupe family. Uh, this is it carries the coupe rear end family look okay, with a number plate on the on the uh what you call it on the bumper and these these tail lights that flow uh, these narrow slit tail lights that flow into the boot lid and of course which opens by you pressing on the mercedes logo right and yep so you call this the cla 45 s now uh the other the other uh, coupe styling signature that you would see of course is the side mirrors so mercedes currently has this convention if it is a sedan a regular sedan or a hatchback the side mirror comes out from this triangle here but if it's a coupe the side mirror emerges from the bodywork like this so with your c-class coupe with your e-class coupe with your cla with uh, CLS maybe even the GLC coupe you see the side mirrors like this but for the the, the likes of the C class the E class the A class the side mirror comes out from here now uh, this this the CLA here it does not get edition one package it also does not get uh, the AM the uh, what you call what they call the night package trim so the door frame is chrome as opposed to being black 
So this being the 45, you get the full uh, AMG, what they call the AMG Panamericana grill. Okay, with these vertical slats. Uh, it's a very, very expressive grill and uh, very dynamic, very aggressive. So we have already we are already seeing a lot of C classes. Uh, I've even seen even up to the W two zero four C class uh, being retrofitted with uh, with this grill design. Not not exactly a perfect fit, like you ask me. And you notice that compared to the A thirty five that I showed you earlier, in this case the CLA the the, the Mercedes logo is fully laminated okay it's free, see the reflection of my palm it's laminated why because the cla here gets uh distronic okay radar guided cruise control whereas the other uh the a45 and a35 does not get it do not get it and you can see if compared to the a a35 the bumper the design the bumper design is uh it's much more aggressive it's not taken from any of the standard models so you get this big um, a, mo a bigger sort of like went at the corner but curiously actually only one side is open this side you see this one is closed this one opens to a cooler I believe that could that should that, that probably is an oil cooler for the transmission okay this is the the, the radiator there And uh, yeah, so unlike the 35, the 45 here has this bulges on the bonnet. Okay, you see the wave. All right, so it's uh, well, obviously, right? It's uh, this 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 is actually like, purely for decorative purposes because we all know why these bulges are there is in in the cases of some cars is to show that it has a big throbbing v8 or v12 under the under the bonnet which in the case of the 45 here they do not get even although they still get the uh, hand assembled engine from a falter bug the a35 engine like the 43 engines they roll off the standard production line okay so let's check out the rims these are 19 inch wheels as well and i may be mistaken but the the brake calipers in the 35 actually look larger than these. Hmm. Very sporty, matte black finished wheels. Okay, these are the this is one of the more popular AMG wheel designs. Alright, and uh, check out the tail light cluster. Okay, this 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 uh this shape I think started from the CLS and uh, now of course they implement it across all their coupes the e-class coupe no sorry it started even before that actually they 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 put this this uh this this design language their coupe design language but i think this interpretation with the with the sharp edges of the lights it, it's uh it's it's inspired from the cls okay and you, as you can see down here the the lower bumper diffuser aggressive with quad exhausts and let's just pop open the boot Once again, as I said, with uh, it's a nicely sized boot, rather large, and uh, this lever here allows you to free the the sixty forty split folding seats, but they don't tumble down. Okay, so you've got this mat here open underneath the boot, no spare tire, but once again, you've got the amp there, and also that's uh, the tire repair kit over there, right? Uh, netted compartments here 12 volt socket another netted compartment here as well now let's go inside once again we pull this down and so check this out We've got red seat belts and as i commented with the 35 not too impressed with such large acres of hard plastic here so there is no release for the 6040 split folding from the inside you have to do it from the boot uh check out the latch mechanism and uh yeah so once again they have they have slope they have they've put a the a slope up here just so that the boot floor matches meets the uh the the the, the, the slope of the seat of the folded seat back seamlessly so one thing good about the uh they put the latch mechanism here it's this ensures that when you fold the seat back up 
even if the seat belt is caught in there, right? It doesn't trap the seat belt. So it won't eat into the seat belt. You can just uh, very assuredly pull the seat belt back out and you'll be fine. Okay, so the driver's seat is adjusted to my seating position. We can see good leg room there. Um, door card, pretty much the same story as we saw with the A35. Nothing new here. The seats also, once again, fixed, in, uh, fixed individual headrest. Uh, but you do get this nice red contrast stitching here Al with, uh, with Alcantara uh, inserts on the seat. Okay, this, this is the same armrest as we saw in the A35 earlier. And let me just get inside here. So once again, all right, same aircon when it's based this car, this car in the A, A class practically built off the same parts bin. Lah. But one difference that you do see here is that the Burmester sound system, okay, this this surround here and the logo here is, is now uh, finished in satin chrome, whereas in the A35 just now it's just all black. So inside here, um, leg room is good. Uh, seats, the the what you call that the the seat support. So so once again, this feels like it's designed for kids. Head room, hmm. See, I'm 170 cm tall. My head is touching the roof. Pretty much the same as I experienced the last time with the previous previous generation CLA. All right, so we come to the front. Uh, nothing new with this cabin lah. Same as what we saw with uh, with the A35 earlier. So just to highlight one key difference between this and the A35. So this is the steering wheel. See this? Now this, I have to say, is rather cool. So this is the drive mode selection. Alright, so you can also use this, this toggle here as well. But this one does pretty much the same. So here we have Sport, Sport Plus, uh, race mode okay then you have to turn comfort individual snow slippery surface now here's the thing i don't get because this is a continuously rotating knob why not let this menu also be continuously uh rotating as well so let's say right now this is snow i browse this way to snowy right why not when i scroll all the way to the left it leads me straight to race mode all right or and vice versa why not from here if i grow, scroll some more it leads me back to snow mode again and uh here you can have this button here to uh what you call that to deact to set your traction control to sport or hold it all the way to switch off okay but then you press again to switch on then this is the this is the specific specific damper setting Okay, Sport, Sport Plus, and Comfort. Very nice, but uh, the assembly of it is, if you ask me, not very solid. So hopefully they will fix this in the in the facelift. But I rather like this. This is this is nice. Oh, and also you can actually press this to achieve the same thing. Okay, you can press this. It, it, it sort of, uh, it, it's it also it also it's also an. Oh no, so you press this only activates individual mode, okay? So from anywhere you go, you press that, it goes straight to individual mode. Right. Alright, so, uh, but uh, that aside, pretty much the same story as the A35. You have, uh, you have contrast stitching here, mood lighting as well. Okay, the seats. And uh, you got red contrast lines here. These are more aggressive sports seats than you get with the A35. And here you get a panoramic roof as well. All right, time to head back and return this car. Uh, I must say it's um, it was it's it's a it was it was a satisfying encounter to be sure. Uh, what really really surprises me is how usable now this car has become but without sacrificing you know that hallmark sense of drama and occasion that you have come to expect from an AMG car so you see the thing about about AMG cars is this um, you see all the while right in 
if you look back in history, Mercedes has always been about you know cars that are luxurious, refined, comfortable, you know, very regal. Uh, but when 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 you put AMG into the equation, okay, and when they hammer out, pardon the pun, something like say the 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 old Mercedes 124 hammer. What do you want to do? They go absolutely bonkers. They and and they have kept that spirit up. Can you say that again, please? Cancel. That's why if you drive the Mercedes A Can uh, cancel. That's why if you drive the AMG E63. If you drive the AMG E63 back to back against a BMW M5, um, the, the E63 just feels more brutal. You know, it feels like it's it's it will take your life if you if you decide to be stupid with it. Whereas the M5 or BMW M cars in general have always been more precision machines right more um more you know more more uh more like scalpels bmw m cars are always like scalpels uh, you know for 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 precision surgery but when you are when you're talking about mercedes m there is no such thing as precision you know it's about really it's about hard hitting performance unapologetic brutality and and it, it it's it, it, it keeps it the air it, it keeps you always on the edge of your seats so this new CLA 45 from what I've experienced it still delivers on that sense of drama but they have they have trimmed some of the rough, really harsh rough edges so that you can use this car on a day-to-day -day basis without feeling tiresome and when your mood so uh, so tickles your fancy just put your foot down on the accelerator and watch it fly very very nicely executed very nicely executed. I am, I, I am, I am suitably impressed with this car's all-round capabilities. You know, I've always expected a Mercedes AMG, particularly a 45, to be a bit, you know, a bit off the rails. What can I do for you? Cancel. So this car, it, it still has that AMG essence in it. Now back at uh, cycle and carriage premises, looking for a spot to park this car. Uh, I, I must say it's uh, it, this has been this has been thoroughly satisfying. Um, it's it's lovely. I mean this this car has exceeded my expectations of it now granted that uh that i have uh, as i mentioned before right i i have not been a very big fan of this you know the cla a class uh range of cars but but this car really totally transformed my my wheels and uh in in a very very positive sense so they're really I mean, previously, um, when people ask me their opinion, hey, should I buy an A45? Should I buy a CLA45? I would tell them, yeah, sure, but, and there is always a but, but can you live with the the the, the, the ride and the, and the space of the car? Pusing balik, Okay, thank you. So, you know, but with this, 
generation all right at least in amg 45 guys right okay this 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 car probably needs a new new set of brake pads there's no butt anymore it's like if you if you come and tell me you want to buy and buy a cla 45 or an a45 my answer right now would be to just go ahead and buy the damn car there is no butt to this car anymore it's just such an accomplished all-rounder thoroughly thoroughly brilliant absolutely brilliant okay guys so this here this is the a45 uh, but as you can see the no equal team is getting ready to take the car out so uh, no time for me to have a go in it but we, we, we can assume that the driving sensations between this and the CLA 45 to not differ by much okay we, we assume that lah now but here is the real really funny thing uh, having driven both the CLA 45 and the A45 back to back now in isolation in isolation I was very happy with the A35 was suitably impressed with the A35. It is a very good car in isolation. It's more comfortable than the previous gen, even the regular A250 A class. More powerful, all right, um, but of course not as powerful as the previous gen A45. So you would assume that the appeal of this car would be uh, something like a day-to-day -day AMG, all right something with AMG uh, sorry AMG performance AMG drama AMG sense of occasion all right but in a more day-to-day -day use uh, day-to-day -day usable setup but what the, the, the surprising thing however is that I found the CLA 45 here to actually be more comfortable more powerful all right so so it completely renders the 35 pointless it's it's a it's a it's a funny funny situation because the A35 is good on its own but because the 45 is just so much better in other in every aspect right and it's a no compromise option that you really really should just either go for the CLA45 or the A45